if you're going to get cannabis psychosis, who's more vulnerable? So this is why your interview can be helpful. High doses in food or drink, why? Because it's typically the person may not know how much they're getting. They can have much more higher concentrations. For the food it may have, other than the powder form, but the old form may have a delayed onset of action and you keep amping it up. Uh, it does, even if you have a pre-existing, clearly diagnosed schizophrenia, and I don't know how many of you have seen this, I work a lot with high-risk patients and safety for release into the community, but cannabis is not helpful overall to people with a psychotic illness. And even if they report to me, but doc, it really helps the voices. That is not what the long-term literature shows. In fact, it's clear that it can worsen and kindle their psychosis. This is something that I think is a little chilling, if you will. 47.4% of those who experience, this is typically you know, the first early in their cannabis use psychosis, will develop schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Okay, so I'm gonna go over that in another slide in a minute. What are the factors that increase this risk? Younger age, so certainly less than 18, and then if they have history of self-harm. So this vignette's gonna sort of kind of reiterate these key points. So let's imagine if you had a parent, 17-year-old male, he's seeking out your advice because um, the kid became psychotic when using marijuana. No prior history of psychosis. He also had some self-injurious behavior, was cutting on himself, so he's psychotic, self-injurious behavior, and they ask you the question, what is his prognosis? So the study that I cited, sadly, would tell you that 47.4% of those who experience cannabis psychosis long-term will develop schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Why do I put this out here? I put this out here because I'm also a child psychiatrist. It's really important, and the child psychiatry community, I think, would agree, that if you're working with children and adolescents, the longer you can delay the onset of cannabis use, the better. Like, get them over 18 at least. You know, try and then educate them and the parents about what this may represent. So again, younger age linked to schizophrenia, and he had self-harm, so he has an increased risk of schizophrenia and bipolar.